is able to, you know, kind of change that deficit, you know, that 11 and four, maybe make it 11 and five if Yez is able to recover. Because I don't see Game & Watch just killing Ike just straight up first. I mean, I could be wrong, but, you know, you want someone to roll into your up smash? Ikes don't really roll too much, eh? They jump in the air and drop down with a disjoint, so. True do, but look at that immediately. You're seeing it. that's why you don't really like to jump on Game & Watch, those, that air, that up air coming out. If you're if you're beating through Ike's nair, then Game & Watch is winning and thriving. You don't want to be above Game & Watch. Yep. Town and city as well. So, uh... I was a little bit right. <laughs> well, well, to my own oh, oh, that's a super unfortunate quick draw. Just gonna yeah. zoom himself under the stage. But one of the things that's like really, I think, prevalent in this matchup is so Yez is gonna be jumping a lot. He's gonna be trying to land with those nares. But these guys are also gonna be looking to put um, the other one above them as much as possible. Cable Watch makes a lot of money as soon as the opponent's above him with the nares and the up airs. But Yez is also gonna be looking for that at later percentages. That up air is absolutely potent, super lethal. He's gonna be looking to kill off the top pretty often. Definitely. Oh. But I mean, you gotta you gotta hit the ground first. You gotta hit Game and Watch first. And right now, Mike <laughs> is making that so difficult. Um, even the movement, like that grab. I have a feeling that was a missed input because the movement was on point. Just grabbed the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And that's terrifying. When, you know, you have someone that's moving around you that well with punishing with a character like Game and Watch is wow. not easy. And the upbeat is gonna take a fantastic edge guard and. Uh, Meister must have heard me talking and said, hey, you meant to say it's going to be 12 and 4 after this. Gosh, yeah, legitimately, got... what I was going to say, Meister's doing everything that you were talking about, Logic, with those offstage plays. He's got those back airs, he's got the uppies, just absolutely calling his out, just giving him no option. Brutal. Yeah, let's see if you guys can answer back. I mean, it's not over until it says game. In the way that Ike can absolutely do some like, big damage and get some crazy kills. Um, and Meister being as late as they are, this definitely is not over. But, I mean, it probably is. <laughs> but that's a good start. You got one. Put, put me on the board. That's what the coach said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, 82%. I mean, as soon as that uh, raid starts coming <laughs> out here, man, all these moves start having a bit, uh, a bit more of a heavier impact. Mm -hmm. I like that. That, that be out of shield is just so difficult to deal with. All right, Meister doing Meister things. Here's an up smash. I mean, I do got to hand it to Yez, though. Whenever I see <laughs> Meister up smashing, for some reason, opponents just love to run into it. And I don't get it. That was Ooh. crazy close to being another stock. And I was about to say, like, oh, my God, is this closer than it, it, than it seems? Because, like, ooh, close. I mean, there's some good on Meister. Be there now. Yeah, Meister had some good patience there, just having faith in the shield that he wasn't going to get shield pokes. But, uh, nice oh, this is why okay. I said, man, it's not over till it's over. I mean, yeah, 123. I'm going to call oh, it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Yo, logic, man. What is going on today? <laughs> this isn't a curse, okay? This, this, these that are called visions. Like that wasn't even a like curse. Business. You just said I am. I am forcing this game to end by yeah. my word. Like, jeez, man. Oh. Look, man. I don't eventually, play, so I gotta just call the shots. Okay. You had some. Eventually, had some as a commentator, juice today. you realize your power. Eventually, right? Eventually, you wake up. You get. You get your third eye. It's like, whoa. I have. I. This isn't a commentator's curse. I just have this power. Yeah. And sometimes you use it. Sometimes you utilize it. You gotta keep it on the down low. You don't talk about it too much. I'm gonna get in trouble for talking about this, right? So just. Don't worry about it. Don't need to talk about it anymore. Yeah, just uh, uh, call my power. Comes back, okay? I'm gonna be playing a match, <laughs> and I'm calling it over. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Freaking <laughs> trade secrets right now. We're gonna have to have a <laughs> meet big Tony play. in the alleyway afterwards. <laughs> well, five can't play each other because and then there's just a battle. True. <laughs> <Same> True. <guess>. <laughs> you guys just sit <laughs> there like, yeah, but stuff I, happen. You guys, are, I, I'm gonna lose this one. You guys keep throwing that curse energy back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But no, I'm able. In theory, yes, could have come back, but it was just going to be such a tall order. You know, you, when you look at some of the, I guess, openings that are needed, there were stray hits, but how are you going to really open up Meister that much? Because it, it that felt like one of the things where you had to get Meister maybe to 60% and then do a, a smash attack. And Meister's not letting you get away with that. Right. I mean... It works out in a certain way sometimes. Like, it, it's what I'm talking about. Like, if if we see in this game too, if Yez really starts to feel his groove, and it took him a little while because we did see that SD in that first stock, but if he gets into his groove, you will see a smash attack of some kind 
just he'll just throw it out just trying to call something man and it, it's absolutely devastating when it lands especially the way that ike hits Ugh. yeah i will this say you true. gotta feel you gotta feel good if you're yes though because you did sd you did lose that other stock you were very close to three stock and then you brought it back to last stock like you need to to ride that high you need to think to yourself okay don't sd don't lose your second stock like that and then other than that that was even if not in yes's favor outside of of course the sd right like i don't know but i think it's a mentality that i go through sometimes when it's like a game that was rough and it starts to not feel rough anymore it's like ooh, okay let's see how this goes if i clean up shop a little bit oh, interesting pick by the way i like i understand why yes may want to go final destination but the concern is what's happening right now there's no platform to land on when you're up in the air, there's no way to avoid the up airs from Game Watch. There's no way to land, but I guess there's no way for Game Watch to land either. And these up airs, one of the few moves able to just kind of stop Game Watch from landing. Yeah, no, it's definitely uh, an interesting pick, but I mean, this, I feel like I see these two go to these stages like very, very often. So I'm not really surprised to see Final Destination. Uh, like you said, it's just a, it's a stage that both of them are allowed to get those big combos, get their up airs going. Oh. I mean, yeah, oh, it can't be a struggle to land, but. I mean, sometimes uh, it works out for you. I'm just making a down smash hit. Was that, that looked like a mile yeah. away. Hello? <laughs> that, that didn't look fair, okay? There's still no jump. How do you make it back? Oh, just go to the ledge. Smart stuff. Oh, a re-grab and a stock is gone because of it. Yeah, brave Maybe option for Meister there, honestly. I, yes. I, yeah. I, I probably would have just let him grab the ledge, man. Like, when Ike starts aethering, I'm just like, hey, man, you, you got it. <laughs> How are you getting up? Oh, wow. Aggressively. I hope your jump's still there. Very fortunate. Oh. Love that Whoa. interaction. <laughs> that was Meister. actually really terrifying. It, I, I thought Meister was good on stage. It turns out all stage in that ledge are apparently his playground. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't run up to the, for the forward tilt. Usually when he gets the Arby's going, he, uh, after like the third or fourth one, he usually runs in with a forward tilt and pretty much just blasts people off to the blast zone, man. It, it's actually really unfair with how, how well he converts into it. What? Wow. That forward air, I know. I thought that was a Nair at first. I'm like, no, okay, no, it's not a Nair. smash attack. <laughs> Yeah, fortunately for Yez, that's one thing that has not been happening. If Meister is doing an up smash, Yez is jumping in the air and swinging with something that works. Honestly, really happy to see Yez grab there, because a few of these times, you know, Yez has fallen down these areas, but like, what if he came down with a Tomahawk instead? Meister's just sitting there in shield waiting, right? Now, granted, of course, there's the up piece, so Tomahawk's not perfect, but this what guy's kind of crazy. What a creative recovery there. He just went way off stage. Just invited Meister to chase him out. Okay, gonna be able to take the stock, but then he quick draw like immediately onto the stage mm -hmm. just to have stage control quickly. I mean, it ended up losing, he ended up losing the stock anyway, but the creativity is really, really good. And this is where he's trying to make his money, man. He's trying to get those up airs. Meister's not that heavy. I'm surprised he lived that one, honestly. <laughs> Same. I'm a little. I think Yes actually thought Meister was gonna be a little defensive and tried to lay an up air. Meister said, "Nope, I'm still coming down with the down air." <laughs> Unfortunately, Yez lost that entire advantageous um, position that he was in. Ooh! Ooh what? The big flex! <laughs> Yo, if he actually jumped up after that throw and just went for a hammer and it was a nine. <laughs> oh, I think oh, you that might be it. Gonna try to quick draw? Mm. Nah, not even getting a chance. My sir. Very, very convincing, convincing victory over Yez. Damn. Yeah, Moving that's, that's, that's count just up it, right? to twelve four. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> According to Skiff stats. Oh, hey, <laughs> so is this, say the like Skiff that. stats always come in clutch. You know, I listen. <laughs> I did say they like to start on Town and City or Final Destination. And what did we see? Mm -hmm. I, I caught it all when two I'm talking stages, about. Two stages, two stages. <laughs> see, I say when it's done, you say how it starts, all right? <laughs> dude, we're with it, and Files just kind of fill, fills in everything in between. Yeah. Hey, everyone, that's me. Yeah, File. Fi fi File does the plot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Together, oh, we create the best story possible, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, Meister is going to advance into Winter Finals. No particular surprise there. Um, Meister, mm. the favorite, that's, I mean, Meister doing Meister things. Going up against Jake should be a little fun to watch, just because Minecraft Steve, um, obviously kind of